Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Arizona Pain Network. The topic today are the top 10 things you should know about stem cell procedures. Stem cell procedures for musculoskeletal conditions are now a reality. There are individuals all the way from grandparents to weekend warriors to professional athletes who are getting these procedures done and it can be very successful. A lot of the sports leagues uh, athletes are getting um, these types of procedures. Ten things that you should know. Number, f number one is that modern stem cell procedures don't have the ethical issues that we used to have in the past. There's no fetal or embryonic tissue involved. Only adult stem cells or amniotic derived stem cells from consenting donors after a c-section. So there is no fetal involvement. Second is that these Procedures are showing promise for degenerative and rheumatoid arthritis, SI joint, issues with spinal joints and discs, tendonitis such as you see in the Achilles or rotator cuff, the elbow, plantar fasciitis, ligament injuries, uh, sports injuries, diabetic wounds, stress fractures, the list keeps going. So stem cells are really like a blank slate. They start from an undifferentiated state, and that's what's meant to be shown here, and they can convert into any ne number of necessary cells. So if they're, and a lot of it depends on the environment they're placed into. So if they're placed into an area of a damaged tendon, the tendency is for them to turn into new tendon to, uh, to repair and replace. And the same thing with ligament. If you injure a ligament and you put the uh, regenerative medicine materials there, it can help convert into ligament cells. Stem cell procedures can heal injury. Now, in the traditional treatments, you have cortisone injections, which really just act as a proverbial Band-Aid. They don't heal anything. They just give pain relief. But what regenerative medicine with stem cells can do is heal the damaged soft tissue and cartilage. And not only can they heal it, but they can heal it back to 100%. This is cutting edge. This is getting athletes back on the field faster, helping people avoid surgery or delay the need for joint replacement. Current treatments do not use embryonic stem cells. The use of adult stem cells in research and therapy is less controversial than embryonic because their production doesn't require the destruction of an embryo or a fetus, right? So you've taken away those ethical concerns, but yet you still have the efficacy of, of what's being used. Amniotic fluid stem cells are intermediate between embryonic and adult. They do have some potential to develop in different cell types, but they are not pluripotent. Pluripotent is not great right now because cells start to differentiate and replicate and they don't know how to stop sometimes. So you can actually get tumors from stem cell procedures but not with what's being used in uh, musculoskeletal conditions now. Okay, because it, it's mesenchymal, it does know when to stop. There are four different types of regenerative medicine procedures. There's bone marrow derived. You can see a picture of bone marrow being aspirated here. Um, it's very effective, gives a lot of stem cells. Fat derived, which is a, like a miniature liposuction, then you take and process the fat to get the stem cells out of it. Amniotic derived, which is exceptionally easy. It's FDA regulated uh, after the fluid comes from a consenting donor after a scheduled C-section and the, uh, has a very high concentration of stem cells. And then PRP therapy involves, it, it's really indirect stem cell therapy, it's just a peripheral blood draw and the blood gets processed. So amniotic derived stem cells have several amazing qualities. They're obtained from consenting donors after a scheduled C-section. They're processed at an FDA regulated lab, check for all kinds of diseases. They have a very high concentration of stem cells. They have a lot of hyaluronic acid. They have growth factors and proteins. And they also have antimicrobial properties. And they also are immunoprivileged, meaning even though they're coming from somebody else and then processed, they do not cause a rejection in the human body. They are immunoprivileged. They've used, been used tens of thousands of times worldwide without adverse events in all kinds of settings for diabetic wounds, for degenerative arthritis, ophthalmology, uh, cardiac, all kinds of, of reasons. Ten things to know. Number eight, small studies to date are showing excellent results for knee arthritis, elbow, uh, epicondylitis, such as for tennis elbow, degenerative disc disease, plantar fasciitis, ligament injuries, rotator cuff injury, Achilles tendonitis, and tears. Um, time and time again, these smaller studies are showing excellent results when larger studies are underway now. It's not yet covered by insurance. You know, despite the exceptional results, it usually takes insurance three to six years to actually catch on and start covering these technologies. That's just with every new technology. The cost of the procedures are going to range, but if you can avoid surgery and save considerable cost and disability, and avoid the risks of surgery, uh, delay the need for a joint replacement, then you know this is a, a drop in the bucket for avoiding some of those issues. 
These are outpatient and exceptionally low-risk procedures. PRP therapy involves a simple blood draw of about 30 cc's. Fat and bone marrow derived draw autologous means the tissue comes from you, the patient. So, you know, you're not uh, dealing with anybody else's bone marrow. Uh, the amniotic derived is immunologically privileged. So even though it does come from somebody else's amniotic fluid, um, you know, it it's, uh, does not cause a rejection. And the risk of infection is really, 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 really low. So, you know, it's been used over 20,000 times around the world to date for various uh, indications. So there's minimal adverse event uh, potential with these procedures. The top pain clinics in Arizona are Arizona Pain Specialist. They've started the Arizona Pain Stem Cell Institute where they offer all of these procedures. Uh, they have seven locations around the valley. They do accept over 50 insurances. As mentioned, the stem cell procedures are out of pocket. All the doctors are board certified. They've won the Patient's Choice Award five years in a row. The number to call for scheduling is 602-507-6550. There are multiple research projects underway, and if you'd like to learn more, you can simply go to our website at preferredpaincenter.com, and there's a big stem cell procedure button there to look at for more information. I'm Dr. David Green with the Arizona Pain Network, your pain 